what is up guys it is saturday almost noon uh we got a bunch of stuff packed up here in the truck we're going either just cruising on some pretty back roads or we're going camping i have not decided yet uh i've got everything we need to go camping with me so we shall see i'm gonna go down to ohio power Jesse Owens State Park now and see what we see if I can get a good site we'll grab it up if I decide you know what I'm not feeling it or the bugs are just straight horrible we might just cruise some back roads and then head home and eat dinner at home and all that so we're just headed out now we got an hour and a half but that's actually 
actually perfect for what it is. I mean, for what it's for. It's huge up there. I've shown you before. ain't bad over there check out this spot looks like people drive around this seems hillier and the grass is a lot taller and then you kind of got to deal with people throwing their trash away picnic table shittier I like this spot over here better than this one and I could flip my truck around and do whatever or just pull forward and kind of block me from them I think we can find shade here. I never camped right here. Hell guys, I think we might have it. Decent picnic table. We might get tore up by bugs from here. There might be water down there. Lots of trash. I'll burn all that crap or the dumpsters right there. What do you think, bae? I think we got shade. We can have privacy. I don't know. Let me think about this. I gotta pee. I think this is the one, guys. I like it because if it gets super nasty, we can get right in the truck. I ain't no tree is gonna kill us if it gets real stormy. There's shade. And I have my canopy. I think I'm gonna set it up anyway which I may take down tonight, we'll see. I have real close, just out of here and up that hill to reception with the phone and all those roads that I wanna travel. So, which we may just do tomorrow, but we'll see. It's early, but I don't like putting a bunch of shit out with the risk of it getting stolen. A lot of expensive gear, you know what I mean? I like being by the camp post just cause of that though. Keeps the riffraff down. We shall see. We're off the road enough. Got a nice big spot here. I think this is what we're doing. So I'm going to start getting some stuff set up here and eat some lunch. I'm drinking a alcoholic beer right now, but I only have four of them, which I hope I don't regret. <laughs> Usually I put a, quite a few down while I'm out here, but I have a bunch of non-alcoholic beer, I'm trying to drink less alcohol. So let's set up and hope we don't get too close of neighbors showing up anytime soon. Lots of people moving around here. We might get some neighbors, but this will block them off too. So nice. 
get it exactly where I want it here and then we'll really don't want to trip over those roots I might just leave it or scoot it back a little the bugs are not horrible here yet uh, I like the spot though it's not bad but guys this thing's taken you know I could tighten that up if they just put big washers on all these and maybe if you buy one and you want to beef it up I would do that put big washers on it you really couldn't do it on that side but this side you could you can see that gap you know so all right froggy 99 on the radio as usual when we're down here let's hope we don't get neighbors there maybe further down it'd be okay even there i'll just put up another wall and they'll be gone but as of now i want the breeze step this up one more notch it's got three settings but i might want to try to tighten that if we get some stiff wind this thing ain't gonna make it dumpster's only right over there all right i think i'm gonna make a sandwich soon and we'll just chill hopefully keep the dog happy just having a quick wrap here in the bed of the truck this is the Iceco VL45. Off the Jackery, 92%. We're out of here tomorrow, so no issues with that. Uh, see if I can get the dog fed. Then we're gonna go drive around. It's hot right now, so radio saying might be 87. I swear I hear thunder or something, but I'm not sure. I'm trying not to kill my truck better leaving these damn doors open. I'm gonna eat. Feed the dog. And we're gonna roll. Tuck some shit out. Alright guys, this is all I'm gonna set up. I think I'm gonna stake this out a tiny bit just in case it gets windy. This is all I'm gonna set up for now. We're gonna go check some shit out. That way, anybody wants to be an asshole and steal my shit, I get a lot less stolen. So, I'll leave this stuff here, grab the dog's water bowl. We're gonna go cruise while it's the heat of the day here and check out, see what the other campgrounds look like. And I'm happy here. This is a good setup, so. Let's take that out real quick, I think. Although there is zero wind. We'll see what we do.
be down here, but I really hate leaving her at home. I just don't think I'd ever drag my camper down here. I was I was wondering if I'd even get a spot today in a tent. Drag your camper down this far and you don't get a spot. That, that's not good.
Gangnam River State Park. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that. guys my other camera just died but there's a car about to roll through this it's really not that bad but it's about it's pretty deep for that car you made it <laughs> That's nice. I want to 
walked right through it. Yeah, oh, now your feet are all wet. Yeah, he made it through in that car with no problem. It was a little deep for him, but I don't think it's any big deal. He didn't scrape or nothing that I noticed. It feels just slightly soft. It's probably really not. It's just all gravel shifting. Bailey went swimming. That camera died. Or I think I ran out of SD space, I guess. That was the one I had in here. So I don't know, maybe see if you notice a difference. That was the five, this is the seven. A little bit better stability for sure with the seven. I mean, hands down, but usually driving's not a problem, but I guess I'll find out. A lot of this, all this stuff really has not changed, which is good. In the past 20 years, this shit has not changed. All the campgrounds we've driven through really haven't changed. The archery range wasn't there, but pretty much staying the same. You know, I'm glad they don't shut all these roads down. No access to these lakes anymore to fish and haunt back here. Let's just hope we can keep this stuff rolling. That's why you gotta respect it. Don't, don't throw your trash around. There really wasn't much trash back there, which is awesome. Somebody had had a fire back there, which hey, that would be nice to do. Probably not supposed to be doing that though. gonna head out of here and then maybe go across from our campground there's a bunch of roads that will travel down the, through there just keep rolling and try to kill the heat of the day and the AC of this truck another adventure biker dude that's awesome especially you slap a tent on that shit we're here on the lake he's just checking it out that's awesome. Alright guys, so if you took a left out of Sand Hollow, that's the way we're traveling on that road. There's Hook Lake. I'm going to show you this so people don't ask me how to get to these roads we're about to go to. So if you were camping in Hook Lake, bust a right. Put your seatbelt on for these roads. So right here is Sawmill. That's where we're camped tonight. So, up towards Windy Hill, and then you bust a left at the first left you can take. And it's this giant wildlife area. And it's awesome over here. You can get pretty far out here to where you don't see shit. Nothing man-made. And you can weasel your way over to uh, the wild. There's lakes everywhere. There's a lake right up to our right. See, here's where a car might smack, just because the angle of it. But, I mean, there's some worse shit out this way, but. 
once you cross that you're into this area decently a lot of these roads won't be gravel like this or they weren't the last time i drove them and if it's after a rain they can be soft there was times i would click it in four-wheel drive and just keep up a good pace i forgot i brought the damn drone maybe we'll fly that if you're not good with directions a real good idea would be to uh have a gps that tracks you a lot of the road gps's like a garmin you just have in your car as normal or google maps even i've never used that out here but it'll show you like driving right through a lake and stuff like that so things change all right so right now we're gonna go straight i'll show you this picnic area so off of that road we have not turned just straight and this is gonna take you dead end you down into a little picnic area I'm sure I've showed it but here we are again ain't nobody down here though uh, the shitter is usually really repulsive but a beautiful lake down here See guys if you could just I, I know there's too many people to be doing this type of shit anymore but if you could just camp down here it would be awesome have this all to yourself all right i'm gonna hop out maybe we'll get some drone footage guys it's hot out here but you know nice little section we flew the drone the lake goes far as hell that way i'll have to review that footage myself but beautiful waters this would be a hell of a place all those guys down there kayaking man they had, they need to be over here it's way nicer over here 
but anyhow we ain't done cruising so we'll head up this hill head down the other roads we don't want to get lost because i'm not tracking this maybe i will eh. we'll see maybe i'll pull up gaia gps see what i got on there if so i'll show you i pulled us up on gaia but i don't know why it's not showing me i'm gonna drive a little bit and see what's up see if it starts to show me I don't know guys I usually got you mounted right there but I want to show you a couple things I don't know if I just don't have service it should show me it pulled me right to where I was but let's just hit record but see it's not showing me all right maybe that'll fix itself maybe not busted a left so now we're headed not out of here we're headed further in I'm honestly not gonna make too many turns I have a different I have my handheld GPS with me too and that's actually the best one for tracking me this should be a downloaded map on here so I don't know it was showing more a minute ago I don't know what the hell happened we're gonna follow this road straight back. I got Bailey up front with me too. I don't know if we're on Knox Cemetery or that is Knox Cemetery. further before because there's that lake out there see it or not over there this is a hell of an overview we'll get out here and look good place to fly the drone again probably sucker so there you can see an oil well over there but oh, I see a truck coming up the road over there but guys that's a pretty damn good view actually we should be over here a little more I got some sweet pictures of my forerunner right here but I don't know you can see that lake still can see down there there's a little spot maybe you can see it looks like you could park or put in a boat I don't know how you get to it but there you go I mean I don't see a single man-made thing and you're that's a pretty good line of sight there it's nice got 
Bailey chilling. I do want to get some views. Look, people have driven down there. I'm not going to do anything stupid. But plenty of people have driven this. And I want to get some pictures of my truck. What you doing, girl? Huh? Yeah, this fucking thing won't show me where I'm at. I don't know why. Piece of shit. Maybe I'll restart it while we're right here. Alright, I'm going to pull up, get some pictures. Alright guys, I marked the location. It says Cool Hill right on the thing. But this is Gaia GPS. This is all that Trans-Ohio trail that I want to drive. And maybe we'll take some of that home. Because we're not far from it. Wherever the hell we were. Now I lost us. Cancel. Where the hell we at? Oh yeah, see. This is all that Trans Ohio, so they're they're driving these roads basically. But right at Coal Hill, you see Coal Hill there. I'll try to mark it in the thing. Or there it says Big Musky Drive. Or whatever, you can get in a general idea of where we are. But this guy GPS is nice. A little bit of comfort. You gotta download the maps, but again guys, come out here, eat some lunch beautiful out here so I made a right out of there this is no outlet I have no clue where that goes it looks like a long road or no 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 I'm not seeing that road on Gaia I think out here it opens up pretty damn good yeah, right here should be a little lake maybe, or no? Hell, I don't know where the hell I'm at. Let's bust a left. So I made a right, and now a left. It's all being tracked on my Gaia. I suggest you do the same. I've been down this road. So this is the way I'm still driving to get to the wilds. No. But you can bust a little left down here to this lake. This one all to yourself too. I'm telling you guys, this place is, is the shit. There ain't a whole lot left like this out there here in Ohio anyway. Alright, I think I'm just gonna back up out of here. But you can back your boat down in here. personnel only to the right hell I don't know this, this looks like more of a Pretty sure though you go bust a left and that would get you out to the wilds. But we don't want to get on the main road. That's no fun. Alright. Let's keep heading this way. I might bust another, bust that right. Let's see where that goes. I think that's the way I went last time. 
traffic. I don't know if they're drilling a well or that's probably all from that pipeline shit. Ah, uh, this says. Why the fuck wouldn't it say that up there? Temporarily closed to all activities. Surveillance cameras out here, guys. I'm sure. Well, I could have fucking mentioned that. Let's see if I can turn around here. There's a ditch behind me. And in front of me. It'll be good to have this all recorded so I know what the hell is going on. We're going to start heading back towards the way we came. Uh, didn't really want to get back to camp yet because it's 83. Just gotten hotter. The dog's nice and comfy in here. But we'll see what we get into here. Might take another road or two. bad view guys we I can see it but you might not be able to it's like I don't know right here is where we were up on that hill you can see tire tracks coming down it I mean we didn't do that but we saw where people were driving down to there pretty legit what's up babe The sun is blazing. It says it's 83. I'm trying to get a freaking text message out. It failed earlier. I don't know if it's in or not. I told her to try to let me know if she got it. I got 3G1 bar. I can't tell if that's a cell tower way over there. But I think if I get out on that windy hill, I should be good. So we might have to try that. I'd like to at least get a text out saying that I'm camping. All right, guys, so the very first spot that we stopped and took some pictures of the truck here just a minute ago. Uh, you do have cell signal. So the spot that I tried to mark on the map and I'll try to put up, you do have cell signal. So Windy Hill is a lot more convenient. But if you want to drive around and check all this crap out, then this spot has... So, I think we're going to head back to camp, unfortunately. It's still pretty hot, but what are you going to do if the dog is napping nicely in here? Oh, babe. She likes it in the AC. And we're going to go get in the hot sun. Well, maybe not sun, but whatever. It'll be hot over there. All right, unless we take another road, you'll see us at camp.
right guys made it back safe been really wanting to get a truck cap if we had that i almost drove last weekend or two weekends ago to go down south and get one and i just couldn't do it it was over it was a four hour drive from my house one way so but dude i'd be have that flipped around we'd be camped in there zero setup just leave this up instead of setting up a tent and a cot and all that crap but whatever especially now that i got the fridge in the back you know now that the fridge is in the bed the back of the truck not the bed of the truck that would leave a lot more room back there but we're back nobody took any spots so far here at car now but they're moving along so nice and shady area this is nice i like it here all right guys got some firewood out got the tent put up it's a little close to the fire pit but it was kind of the flattest spot i didn't want to be tucked up there and all up in the bugs so we got it all set up bailey is using it so got a usb fan blowing on her right now kind of it's not very good but she looks comfortable and we'll just let her sleep and be bug free as long as I keep this zipped up. So, all right, we got the setup. I think I might watch a movie tonight on the big screen. That'll be fun, give me something to do. It'll have to be pretty dark for that, but that's fine, eight, something like that. All right, guys, it feels good to be out here. It really does. I'm in the shade. It feels pretty good. I'm sweating a lot because I just did all that work. I have more wood than that. And maybe I'll start a fire soon just to smoke, keep the bugs away. But this is all like kiln-dried wood, basically, from pallets. I think it's kiln-dried. So it doesn't put off a ton of smoke. But I'm going to try to clean up this trash and burn it or take it over to the dumpster. Just caps and beer caps everywhere and whatever. Nothing horrible. All right. It's, whoop, whoop, it's 5.35. We probably won't eat dinner for a couple hours, let it cool down. Sit back, relax, got the thermocell ready to roll if we need it, which we probably will. Here's a door. I should have scooted that over. I thought it'd be nice to just have a door to right here. I should have scooted our beds over, but I brought everything in from the other side, so maybe I will. Once Bailey's not chilling so hard. Bugs aren't too bad yet, so we're getting lucky right now. Fridge is running now as we speak, so that's... You can hear it. 87% on the Jackery. Not bad. There's the fridge. Got some mags. I don't know if we'll do breakfast or not, but eggs and some bacon hamburgers stewed every time i think too big and then i don't even want to eat it's so hot so we might not even grill anything and just do more sandwiches uh nothing much in here we got some non-alcoholic beer there some waters i got one out right now i need to fill back up put it in here a couple coffee drinks some ipas gatorade tea same old shit Dude, this comes from Sam's Club. This stuff is awesome. I might even sneak a piece while the dog's sleeping. But I got her some pretty good treats, too. I need to find out if these are made in the USA, though. It does not say anywhere on this bag, which makes you think it's not, but this blue claims to be good stuff. And they got rid of the treats I used to give her, so... All right, I'm going to close this up. Quit yapping. Plenty of room for me at one night, and... Again, you could cycle beers through this because it's a refrigerator, so it's always trying to keep that temperature. And it's nice and cold. It says 36 now. We'll, I don't know. I think I have it set at 34. Alright guys, just used fat wood and a torch. That's why it's so smoky. It's fat wood. And then it's going to burn the trash too. But I hope 
that this wasn't a horrible spot to set that. We'll see. This wood doesn't make much smoke, but... <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for a good camp knife for cheap, I'd definitely say check out the uh, Kershaw Camp 10. It's a beast of a knife. I mean, splits wood nicely, you know, with a baton. Definitely, I think, for the money, one of the best buys you can get. Uh, I think Schrade makes a pretty decent one, too, so... Maybe check them both out and see what you think. But I'm no doubt happy with this knife. I want to say it used to be 40 bucks or something like that, but it's been a while. All this trash is catching. Okay, guys, I don't know if I mentioned this. This is the Gazelle T4 tent. I don't even know if you can buy them right now. They're hard to find. Uh, and I think they're a lot more than what I paid. That's just how these things go. Those things, those pop-up screen house things, I have one of those. Those things just, they're gone. Anyhow, this is another Ozark Trail accessory. And it's the movie screen, which is pretty cool. So, we'll set up the projector here later. Throw a movie on just for the hell of it. Unless it really starts attracting bugs, then we might not do that. But it'll be fun. Throw a movie on. Super quick. Just attaches and then just tension with that. I mean, if it was super windy, wouldn't be great. But it's not. So should work fine. Hell, I could watch it from in the tent. <laughs> it's almost as good as camping in my camper. I like this. I mean, it's harder to talk Brittany into not camping in the camper, but... She did like three weeks ago, two weeks ago, like Ed mentioned. Just a quick one night. Just like tonight. The dog's been doing exceptionally well. Sometimes she really bums out that she's here. The camper, it's all air conditioned. So she's spoiled in that thing. This is too much for her now. She's old. But she's just napping away. So yeah, we'll get that going later, eat later. Right now, I'm just having a little fire, drinking a beer or two. Uh-oh, did the dog get up? No. She's just passed out, has a little USB fan that's blowing on her still. She's crashed on my mattress. That's not gonna work. All right, guys, mosquitoes are starting to come out a little bit more. I sprayed down a little bit. Listening to the Indians game. It's just what I do when I'm down here. I like to. It's all just come down here once or twice a year. I just have to, man. Place draws me back. I love this place. I grew up coming down here. And I always listen to the Indians game. It's always kind of the same old thing. Makes me feel, you know, at home. I like it. So, I really don't care if they win or lose. But, uh, we'll keep it on in the background. Unless I get bored, I'll throw in more music. I need to charge this GoPro. Bailey's eating. She got some hamburger in her bill jack. Used a Blackstone. Just cooked up a quick hamburger. I had tomato and onion and all that crap. I didn't even deal with it. My pound won. I got more if I want it. But, uh, still listening to the Indians game. Turned it off to talk here, but... Just a double with cheese and Southwest hot mustard. Love this stuff. Blackstone's easy to clean up and we'll be done quickly. So, gonna eat this and sit by the fire. I swear I hear water. Like, rushing water over there. I looked on, I mean, you can see it's, you know, a huge dip down and then up, so... Not sure where it'd be coming from, but I hear water. I looked on Gaia, and there is a little water source down there, but nothing flowing to it, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, it is not dark enough for this. You can see it a little bit, but you can also see that it was our trail sign on the back. What a bunch of dicks putting their thing on there. So, we got a little while to go, but I'll just leave it rolling. 
This thing should power it for a good while. Uh, I can Bluetooth the sound if we want to, but not yet. Not till we can see it. We got more firewood under there. We might as well use it. If I take it all out, we're just burning it, just to burn it. Hardly worth unloading, though. At the house. We'll get a good fire going here. Guys, that really didn't take very long. Ten more minutes, and I mean, it's way brighter now. Bam. Watch TV. It's a 100 inch screen, I think. Maybe it's 80. 80 or 100, but obviously I'm not feeling it. I'm not too worried about that. I could move it back. I'm off the screen. Now I don't know if I'm focused. I think we're nailing it right there. Alright, it'll be cooler when it's darker, and then maybe I'll cut the game and somewhat watch a movie. Guys, there's bears cutting through camp. Look at them there. Yeah. We got lucky. My bed. Her bed. She went under her bed. Sweet. Alright guys, probably can't see me, but... Now you might be like, is this dude watching a movie, really? At least it's Smokey and the Bandit. It's a little wild. Smokey and the Bandit. I honestly thought about shutting it off, but what the hell. It's pretty dark out, not a whole lot to see. I can kind of see in this valley over here, but you can't at all. up guys almost eight o'clock been up for a little bit just laying around I'm all up on the dog we my sleep a bed um not the best night of sleep I've ever had it was quiet but I was just sliding around in here I'm pretty uneven may need to do some new cots too. Brittany doesn't like hers and I don't know that I like mine. Some like to do fine with it, some I don't. But I'll make sure it isn't going to rain out there. Because if it is, I'd like to get this put away. Definitely not the sunniest morning. <clears throat> Canopy down and everything last night. Just, just so it wasn't all wet. So besides the tent, like two things out on that table. Not a whole lot to put away. Yeah, I think it's ever so lightly raining. I can't tell. Can't see it on my truck. All right. Well. I don't know. Guess I'll get up here soon. It is kind of raining. Oh, bay. So I'm going to see if I can get the stuff somewhat packed up here before everything gets wet. 
I don't know if it'll ever rain that much, but I don't want it to get wet. All right, guys, dumped our trash over there. Hoping Bailey poop real quick. Got about an hour and a half drive to the house, which I think we're gonna get out of here. It's not the nicest weather, but I'm gonna have to set the tent up and shit when I get home anyway. It was pretty wet on the bottom, even though it was on a tarp. Whatever. We're cleaned up here for the most part. Bailey's water, I gotta drink out. There's still some trash around, but I picked up a lot of it last night and burned it all. I'll leave one piece of wood here. Fire's good to go. Uh, everything's cleaned up on my end. Again, I picked up a lot of the trash. Most of it's up. So, I'm going to grab my tag before I forget off this thing so people know it's open. And then we're out of here. Hoping to open up my doors all the night. Getting into that cooler wasn't killing my battery. All right, we're loaded up. If we see anything cool on the way home, I'll certainly show you. Still never got that rock out of my wheel. I hope that does not pose a problem on the way home. If I hear it before I get off these back roads, I'll take a look. home safely a couple blocks here to go so thanks for watching hope you had a good time i know i did i love going down there do it again soon hopefully definitely before the end of this year get some fall camping going on down there all right guys if you've watched so far maybe hit like maybe subscribe you make the call but i'll keep making